Hello to everyone. I'm Mark Adam from Wikipedia Serbia. This is my username, and today I will talk about various ways to motivate contestants offline and online. So first, what kind of cont contestants we have in Serbia? So we have Serbian Wikipedia article writing. We have competition choose different topics. Some are actual, uh, some topics from different parts. There were some topic about biographies, literature, uh, astronomy, <coughs> and such. Global article writing competitions such as CE, local photo competitions where, where we organize competitions locally, taking photos of Serbia or some other stuff that we need from glam projects and stuff like that. And we have global photo contests like Wiki Loves Earth and Wiki Loves Monuments. They're just a bit introduction to that. So we are going to the main stuff, how to motivate contestants. So we first thing we need to find interesting stuff about right or about something that can take photos off. So we when we are choosing the <coughs> subjects of competition, if it is writing competitions, we are choosing stuff that would be interesting to artists to write about. An author's pardon to write about. So, as example, we choose a lot of stuff and we found out that biographies of people are something that is most popular and we get most articles about different people. So we choose uh, are those uh, writers or artists or we have articles of uh, women of world, uh, women scientists and stuff like that. And next thing is we choose popular subjects, subjects that are currently in Serbia, uh, the people are talking about them, the stuff are happening about them, so we choose the stuff that are that are really uh, people will easily find articles about them, books about them and and other stuff that can help them create better articles that can they find they where they easily can find locations and where they can give us better content. Next is fun locations. Uh, if you want to motivate people to travel, to for them to go to other parts of Serbia where they don't live, or in their part there are already many pictures of different locations, we tend to choose something they, where they would like to go, but they need some kind of motivation. During the Wiki Loves Earth, we got some pretty good images, pretty pretty photos of some location where people climb some mountains, search for the perfect shots, uh, walk around for several hours to find that specific waterfall or specific monument, or if it is Wiki Loves Monument, they, they have inspirations to go and see some new stuff in Serbia. They, they have the the motivation to meet their own, they meet their own countries, and sometimes the the that's the thing they need. So the the one other thing is good prizes. I would like to 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 continue the story of from ending of the first presentations about prizes and as uh, are the the let's call them monetary prizes or. Uh, f uh, laptops or stuff, tablets and stuff like that are they only way to motivate the, the contenders I think that should be more than than just that prizes I know that uh, those barn stars are very good way to motivate new users but also the old users who didn't edit for some time then cam came back and start editing, writing the articles, and didn't win. We usually have only prizes for the first three, but if there are ten other editors, they don't get nothing. So the bottom stars are good way to show them appreciation for their articles, for the stuff they did on the Wikipedia, and show them that we are following their work and we are appreciating it. <coughs> Successful stories. So, from competitor to board member, uh, uh, 
Can you please speak to the microphone? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we have two people in the board member who started as a competitors, started writing articles in the competition, and became uh, part of the of the board. There's a I don't know, maybe you met him on online million. He won several competitions. Sometimes he was first, sometimes he was not, but he was interested in competitions, made him a uh, bigger Wikipedia and he started editing more and more and more outside the competitions. So we saw him, talked to him, asked him if he's interested in joining the, the part of the community. He then joined and later on became the more board, board member. Same was with me. I also started as a competitor on articles about astronomy. And after some times, one of the board members asked me would I like to join, and I joined, and here I am now. <laughs> so that's good for me. So also on the Wikipedia Serbia, Wiki Loves Earth, we had a winning pictures on the global global competitors competition, pardon, Stopica Pecina. You've probably seen it already, but it's not a bad thing to brag about it a little. Also, long-term Wikimedians, people who started competing, only see the good in prizes, but then they are continue editing, 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 that give them some kind of satisfa satisfaction, and they continue uh, to, to give us great articles and start became volunteers who help us with, with, our, with a lot of our stuff, our... Uh, or Wiki Live and, and stuff like that. Also with the new volunteers, some people who who started with competition and then joined the Wikipedia and then joined Wikimedia and we have great great deal with them. So this is all about what's from our, my presentation. I wanted to to have some kind of discussion to see because we all have different ways to to motivate our contestants. So I'd like to hear what did you do in your Wikimedia? How you motivate your contestants? Was it through great prizes or with some barn stars? Or if you have some questions, you can ask me. So feel feel free to share your experiences. share my experience for the whole now, uh, but uh, the part of this uh, motivation uh, interest uh, is uh, I will be presented in my uh, uh, tomorrow presentation about uh, value structures. So uh, I will need uh, one presentation to just have it, so I will leave uh, the microphone so for others and about motivation, it's um, a lot about, about values. I invite you to my presentation uh, tomorrow. Great. Okay. I just wanted to give you another example that uh, article writing contests or photo contests can help uh, uh, find new members, uh, community members. One of the administrators, Hungarian Wikipedia, one administrator is started as a as a winner of the Wikilas Monument some years ago and now is very active as administrator. So this can work if so it works. Yeah, th that's great because we have we have mostly problems with photo competitions with, because they are mostly photographers who are not editors, but we tend to stimulate them so they post their pictures on the article so we get them a little bit of taste of Wikipedia editing and hope they will hook up. I think it's not necessary. Another example: one of the one of the uh, participants who, who uh, sent a lot of pictures for Wikilabs monument some years ago. Uh, in the following year, there was no Wikilabs monuments in Hungary. He participated as a photographer in 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 the in the Austrian and in the next in Slovakia and the. the the German one, and then I think this year in the Croatian 
contest and and every year he won some prizes so it's he's quite successful and and he he beside this contest he always uploads a lot of pictures of common commons uh, he's a professional photographer but he, he enjoy or to have the have fit pictures the community and it's good if if He's a photographer. I don't want to force him to write articles. He writes articles. I know about some topics which he took a picture, but uh, but I'm happy if he just upload pictures. We need pictures too. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Uh, so um, I I just wanted to uh, on the previous session I was talking about it. I think it's really really important for us to. Uh, make a difference between uh, various target groups for us. For example, if we have uh, Wikipedians, we will have competitions. But if we have uh, photographers, uh, we can actually um, educate them about Creative Commons licenses. Uh, we have that example uh, on our Wikilove Zert. So one of the competitions uh, was uh, a woman who um, is... Uh, she actually uh, has experience in photographing the various things in Serbia. And we said, okay, you can actually release your photos, and she released it. She doesn't have to be an editor. She doesn't have to be an active Wikipedian. That's not the point. The point is uh, that she can contribute in a in the way she wanted to, in a way uh, uh, that's familiar with uh, her interests. So uh, different motivation factors are present, uh, at least in our chapter. I think. Anyone else? On the question of prizes again, what I think is really wonderful with the German writing contest that it's not a given first prize, a given second prize, but there are a list of possible prizes, yeah. and the contributors, the first who comes in first, can choose from that, and often it's the non-material prizes that get chosen very much in the beginning, and I think that's a wonderful way um, to have a balance between those material prizes and the non-material prizes, the things that are more like, um, yeah, something small but meaningful, uh, yes, or something... Some meaningful. way of appreciation, appreciation, for, for the users to know they are, you know, see, or, or you know, it, it's pretty to see on your page you have a bunch of bunch stars from other people who are congratulating you on your work. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that you, in some of your contests you had like bigger prizes like laptop or tablet. Uh, did you have any problems with like next contest uh, when you maybe had the lesser prize and uh, maybe you had a successful successful way to be dealing with that? Well, th those bigger prizes were was only for Wiki Loves Earth. Am I right? Uh, I'm sorry, I was typing. I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the bigger prizes. For the only for Wiki Observer, mostly yeah, there are some, some small prizes like a book or some voucher for the bookstore, or tablet, or, tablet or, or something. Something like that. It's yes, we 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 are basing we basing our prizes on on the um, how how should I put it? How big is competition? We base our prizes on on that, yeah. and yeah that. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of people actually, uh, we saw that connection between prizes and, of course, new editors or new participants. So, prizes are an um, important thing, but uh, we don't think that we should give them, I don't know, a car or something. <laughs> we, we are giving, for example, a tablet, which can be useful for them, for example, in editing, or uh, we can give them a book, which uh, can be used as a reference or something like that. So it is uh, in some way connected with the competition or the event we are organizing. Well, I also have uh, one question uh, which was partially answered. Uh, what is exactly your target group? Do you have a model for all the competitions or you are changing the models for every competition? What is the hypothetical model of uh, Where have contestant? This? Is it new user coming or...? Uh... Well, it, it, it's different from subject to subject. Uh, if we're choosing some specific sub subject, we are known that some hardcore users 
will write about that, but if you choose like biographies of, of people, a lot of people will come and see and find some, some interesting people that don't have articles on Serbian Wikipedia and start writing about them and about next one and next one and next one. Or if you choose some, some subject like astronomy or biology that don't have so much participants or participants are not very familiar with the with some specific articles, they don't know the terminology, they, they don't feel so good in that, in that specific area. So we, we are choosing our models, well we have half of a model and other half we are choosing based on the next competition. The problem is there are some areas which do require some background in order to write or edit these articles. Even if you're just translating, you have to know these terms and understand that. Yes. That's a problem, so you can't just bring people to these areas. Yes, this is very specific with biology, where they have a lot of Latin or some terms that are different on English yeah. and different on, on Serbian Wikipedia. Or yeah. basically, <coughs> most of the science stuff are for the hardcore users, so users yeah. from, from specific fields, and some so let's call them social stuff, are for for majority of the group, like biographies or just, history. You can't just uh, say, hey people, let's have a, an editathon uh, of uh, the neuroscience articles and you all have to contribute. Yes, well, well, when I uh, when I was, I started with astronomy and it was promoted on my college with the, with the sector of astronomy so a lot of people who are studying that who started writing writing articles about that. So we're choosing the, if we are right about biology, we are we are we will promote it on some biology groups or some biology students, so we can contribute to people who know what they are writing about. So they can not just translate, but use their own books, use their own own, own knowledge to write about them. Okay, thanks. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Okay, Ivana, I'm just going to uh, so, um, uh, about that, we are always trying to find um, references for them. For example, if we have an editathon um, about fashion, which we did, we uh, contacted the Museum of Applied Arts. And uh, they called uh, other people who are involved in fashion and gave them a literature or something like that. So, we are not just saying, okay, let's just edit, but also uh, are thinking about the books they can use. Yeah. That's the glam example, but also we have uh, education project projects, which is maybe more, which is better, I think. Yeah. For, okay. for this. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Marco.